is our first video where we're using the coins, the idea that each fraction it represents a different coin to solve for these different sums. And as a reminder, we have one half, which is 50 cents, one fourth, so one half equals 50 cents, I'll put it like this, and one fourth is a quarter, 25 cents, one tenth, that's a dime, 10 cents, and one, one twentieth is a nickel, right? Because 20 nickels make one dollar, and we could say one one hundredth is one cent or one penny. And again, we can solve each of these individually using any algorithm you want. But I want you to try and use these connections here to solve each of these different sums. And again, this is a string. And what that means is that each of these sums connects to each other. So before you just go up and see these as seven different problems, try to see connections between them. Just take a few moments and look at this uh, as, as if you're adding up coins. Try that out. I think you'll like it. And then see if there are connections between each of these problems. When you're ready, uh, I would pause this video. And when you're done, we'll talk about, we can unpause it. And uh, I'll, I'll talk you through some of the connections that I see in each of these problems. Okay, so the first one, a half and a fourth. Well, I'm thinking of it in terms of coins. So this is 50 cents, a half a dollar, plus one quarter, or 25 cents. If I had 50 cents and, and 25 cents, I have 75 cents, and that's out of a dollar. So we can think of this as 0 0.5, 50 cents, plus 0.25, and that's equal to 0 0.75. And we're not going to talk about it too much in this video, but this is three-fourths, right? Because that's three-fourths of a dollar. Uh, you can think of this as, I guess you can talk about it, 75 is three-quarters, one dollar is four-quarters. So this is three-quarters out of four-quarters, or three-fourths. All right, next problem. Three-fourths plus one-half. Well, I'm just going to go back to my, my model here where I have 75 cents, or three-quarters, that's three-fourths every one-fourth is a quarter, so if we have three of them, we have 75 cents plus 50 cents, and that's got to be one dollar and 25 cents. We can think of that as 0.75 plus 0.5, right, and that is 1.25, or we can think of it as one dollar and 25 cents, or, <coughs> whoa, excuse me, one and one-fourth, so one and one-quarter. And we move on. Now, one and three quarters plus one half. What can we do? Well, there's definitely <coughs> well allergies. There's definitely a connection between these two. We have one and three quarters here, which is one more than three quarters. So this term is a full uh, whole number above this. So the sum. What does that mean? Well, the the total sum then has to be one whole greater. So instead of 1.25, it should be 2.25. So it's a dollar more. And that makes sense. One and three quarters is like a dollar and 75 cents. And before we just had 75 cents. And we're adding 50 cents to that, or 0 0.50. And that has to equal 2 and 2 fourths. And you might realize that, oh, 2 and 1 fourth, excuse me. That's equal to two dollars and twenty-five cents. Keep going here. Yeah. Now we have two and one half plus one and one fourth, and we can solve that from scratch. Or what I see is that in our first term here we had a half plus a fourth. Now we have two and one half plus one and one fourth. So that original that original equation right here is kind of hidden here in this one. We have a half plus a fourth. And we're also adding another one, two, three dollars to this amount. So our first answer was three fourths. So now we have three dollars more, so it should be three and three fourths. And that's the, we're saying it's two dollars and fifty cents, so two point five zero plus one dollar and one quarter, one point two five, which is equal to three dollars and 75 cents. Okay, moving on. Three and three-fourths plus one and one-half. 
Well, do we have a connection anywhere? Um, again, we can go back to this one. Instead of 1 and 1 fourth, which we got here, we now have this whole number and this whole number to add to it. So it's 4 greater than this term right here. So instead of 1 and 1 fourth, we should have what? 5 and 1 fourth, right? I think that's right. I'll check that in a moment. So 1 and 1 half is like $1.50 plus 3 and 3 fourths is like $3.75 plus 3.75 and Three dollars plus one dollar is four dollars. Plus fifty cents is four fifty. Plus seventy five cents is yes five point two five. And notice, in order to solve these, when I use the coin model, I'm automatically transferring between decimals and fractions and mixed numbers. It's going back and forth. Now we have nine and one half plus five and three fourths. Again, same thing here, right? Except what? Well. Here was three fourths plus a half. Now we're doing one half plus three fourths, just changing the order there. But still, that's the same thing, right? If I have 75 cents plus 50 cents, that's the same thing as 50 cents plus 75. Of course, these two numbers are much bigger. We have $5 extra here and $9 extra there, which means whatever this is, whatever the sum is here, it has to be nine and five greater than this sum right here, right? Here we got $1.25. So now we're gonna have 14 more than that. So we should get $15.25. And I think that works out because we have five and three fourths, so what's five dollars and every one fourth is 25 cents. So three fourths has to be 75 cents plus nine and one half, which is nine dollars and fifty cents. 9 and 5 is 14. 75 cents plus 50 cents is another $1.25 altogether. That's $15.25. Now, for our last one, uh, again, I'm just going to go right back to this term right here. Because here we have um, a half and a third and three fourths, just written in a different order. So really, this answer should be 101 plus 10, or 111, bigger than this right here. 111 plus this is 112 and 1 fourth. Right, if I have $111 plus $1.25, I have $112, right, and 25 cents. And think about what we just did right there. 101 and a half, which is 101.25, plus 10 and 3 fourths, or 10.75, is very simple to think about if we just look at the fractional parts as coins and then add the whole number separately. So that's a tool for us, right? This intimidating fraction sum is really can be thought of as 50 cents plus 3 fourths, which is $1.25, plus the whole numbers. So we come with a strategy here where we can just add the whole numbers, add the fractional parts, and then bring them all together. So we can take this problem and break it down to its simpler form, which was here in the string, find that sum, and then add in these whole numbers. And that's a, an effective strategy. And that's just our first string. Now you might have found really cool patterns here, but these are the ones that I saw. And there are many others, I'm sure, to, to see. There are many ways to think about this. But anyway, in, in the next string, we'll make these a little bit tougher.